And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. It's a football Friday. Football Coyotes trying to play two halves of football and come up with their first win of the season tonight at home against another winless club, the Legacy Sabres. Let's see if they pulled it off. To Legends Field we go. 8 on one of the first, 12-yard pass from Alex Bloom, who was outstanding to Owen Cook, who always plays hard. Seven zip Coyotes. Then at 444, the first Bloom with a bomb to Isaiah St. Romain. 44 yards in a TD, 13 zip after one. It's 20 zip when the Sabres give the ball to Wyatt Black, 15 yard run, 20 to seven ball game. At 116 of the second bloom, it's Jaden Tanner, 22 yards in a TD, 27 to seven. Bloom had four TD passes in the first half. Then a big pick here by Braden Lund of the Coyotes. He's going to kill that drive. They led 27 to 7 at the half. They go on to win 33 to 15 and pick up that well-deserved first win of the season for the hardworking kids and their coaching staff. Uh, century next Friday at home. Hopefully another win. It's homecoming. 5 and 0 Alexander looking to make it six tonight on the road at MLS. Let's see if they made it six. It's raining. It's homecoming, but it's football. MLS's quarterback, Drayson Johnson, with the keeper, but the comments say no. They come up with the fumble and take over. Moments later, Bo Ryder airs it out to Zane Soyseth. He's going to make the catch, but they call it back on the hole. So what do they do? Well, call up the same play, but this time they find Ryan Pingle, who is going to get into the end zone and take it for six. MLS fans didn't like it, but they like this play. It's Reed Morlock. He's going to get just enough space and take it in for a touchdown. You hear the cars are honking. It's B football, but Alexander would return the favor. Next drive, a little wildcat offense from Maxine. He was a keeper this summer. A great kid. He's going to dodge it in and score. So Alexander remains unbeaten. They win 40 to 34. They win a shootout. Trenton Tigers looking for their third win of the season on the road at center Stanton. Let's see how it went for Randy St. Pierre's crew. And off and rolling, they're going to find the Wildcats find Latham Pierce. And the big man is going to hang on and he's going to score. They were up 14 zip after one A and six men. And big men get a chance to make plays. In the second, Wildcats at the Trenton 25. And at this point, the rain's coming down, so you got to run the ball. It's Jonathan Russell. He's going to take it to the house. They led 20 to 6. And as you would expect, Trenton trying to do the best they can do. But uh, the old ball is going to come up loose there. They would fall 48 to 13. So they fall 48 to 13 in that matchup against Central Stanton. So w Williston, very good news. 33-15 their first win. However, Isaiah St. Romain, they're all WDA and all state wideout, left the contest late in the second with a shoulder injury, did not come back. So obviously we'll be keeping our fingers crossed there, but a huge loss, obviously, if he cannot resume his season. So St. Romain, another big ball game, but he had to leave at the end of the second, and that set up Willison's last score in the first half. Alexander remains unbeaten. They beat MLS 40-34. Uh, Ned Rose gets Ray Powers Lake 24-21. Central Stanton gets the Tigers 48-13. Tioga gets Divide County 44-zip. Watford City picks up their second win over Belcourt 43-zip. Sydney is trailing 28-6 to Billings Central. Fairview wins big. They continue to roll 54-14. Mondak has the lead on Savage. 14 to 6. Culbertson and Plentywood no final in. Freud Medicine Lakes got another good club. They win 63 to 38. And the Glasgow Scotties with the lead on Malta 22 7. Back to the Peace Garden State. Fargo Shanley's got a good club. They beat Century 48 35. Pats come here for homecoming next week, Friday. Mandan takes care of St. Mary's 35 14. And Minot continues to roll. They shut out Fargo Davies. 26 to nothing. Tennis Coyotes on the road taking on Scott McPherson's crew legacy and legacy shuts out the Coyotes final there 7-zip. 
Twins fans, no more worrying, all right? No more worrying. Your club now has won the American League Central Division. They beat the Angels 8-6. to six. Alex Kurloff is back. He hit a home run. And the big uh, Mr. Polanco got an RBI as well. So they got a week to rest before the playoffs begin. They had a very good first half led by their pitchers. A good second half, great second half led by their hitters. So they win the Central. They have a big, big party, I'm sure, playing tonight. Let's take a timeout.